and and the the thing about the experimental foil market in the aerospace side is really the quality of the product, the consistency of the product, right? Um, some of your worst nightmares if it, if the if the material comes in kinked and it doesn't lay lay flat, so you can actually see it on in the on the aircraft surface because it's not laying right. Um, or if it's got some wide variability in its resistance range because the resistance has a lot to do with this lightning strike protection. So if, if, if you've, and goodness knows why I have got wrapped into this one time, but we were actually measuring different lots, the resistance of expanded metal foils uh, from different lots. I was surprised how much variability there was in it. But that, that had to do a lot with the manufacturing, of the, the place that was manufacturing it, quite honestly. So in a place like Niles, which if you go on the go on the website or actually look at the, some of the YouTube videos from them, it's a very automated process, and they seem to have very consistent uh, products. And they offer and they also, also they offer a variety of different materials you can choose from. Uh, it's right on the website. So the the two big ones in aerospace today are copper, which is tend to be used a lot with carbon fiber, and aluminum, which used it a lot because it's a little, it's lighter. Aluminum gets to use with fiberglass. Uh, and aluminum these, and carbon. Are these are these laid on top or are they yeah. embedded within? Uh, well, they're laid on top. So think of it as another structural. Think of it as a ply. So it's usually if you're gotcha. building up a composite part, it's usually the foils tend to be the first ply down, and then you start st stacking your carbon fiber plies on top of it. Um, that's generally how it goes. Uh, so it's actually built in when they put the part in the autoclave and they cook it off. It, the foil is actually built into the exterior surface of the part. So it's the outermost layer. Of the part, think of it that way. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Yeah. So if, from a handling standpoint, um, and the, the, the expanded metal is, is beautiful because it'll go to crazy contours and not kink, or, or you can you can kind of lay it out where it's flat. Uh, a solid sheet wouldn't do that. So having the the, the holes in it um, allows one allows the epoxy resin to in, to to fill it up and to grab hold of it and bond it on. 